Gideon first appears on the scene when he was threshing wheat in a wine press, hiding from the Midianites. He was determined that there was no enemy that was going to deprive him of being fed the Word of God. You know what? I want my soul to be fed. Millennials, don't be satisfied uh, with something that feels good to your ears, that tickles your ears. Preaching was never intended for your brain. It was intended for your heart. Pluck me up, preacher. Stir me up, preacher. Preach it straight to me. Amen. It breaks, it breaks my heart to see a young person sucked out into the deep waters of this world. He said, here's what we're going to do. He said, we're going to get a, we're going to get a lamp and we're going to put it inside the pitcher. And at the right moment and the right time, we're going to sound the trumpet and we're going to break the pitcher. I'm asking you, are you ready for the victory? That's okay. Gideon only had 300. I said, are you ready for the victory? Well, if you're ready for the victory, then let me tell you, uh, ordinary, uh, just old average, uh, worship and prayer is not going to get it. Uh, he said, you look at me, uh, and whenever I tell you, uh, I want you to blow the trumpet. Uh, that's a type of your voice. Blow the trumpet. Blow the trumpet. This is what happens. He said, blow the trumpet. And then you got to break the picture. You know what the picture was made out of? Same thing you made out of. Dirt. Flesh. See, a lot of us, we're coming to church and we never break the picture. We never get loose in the Holy Ghost. You know what they, you know what they used to call us? They used to call us Holy Rollers. Well, by the help and grace of God, they're not going to stop. I'm here to tell the devil he's alive. 